The waters around the Queen Elizabeth Islands and western Tuvaluitok have long remained a mystery for scientists. They're part of what's expected to be the last stronghold of summer sea ice. So as we have lost multi-year ice, we have increased the area of open water and the area is now nav more and more navigable. Allowing a Canadian research icebreaker to enter some of those passageways for the first time ever. In September, David Babb and fellow researchers embarked on a four-week cruise aboard the CCGS Amundsen. Fisheries and Oceans Canada says it's the first research expedition of its kind to reach the world's last ice area. But at first we were finding really deteriorated and heavily melted sea ice. Thankfully, they found thick ice further south. But he says what happens up in Tuvaluitok will affect what happens downstream in communities like Resolute Bay. Researchers also attended a science day at the Karmatalik School. They showed off some of their work and exchanged knowledge with the community. Grade 11 student Kupak Idlaut says he learned a lot. They measured how much salt was in the water in different areas of the Nunavut region. And he heard researchers found quite a substantial amount that can be worrying as more salt often is associated with thinner ice. David Babb says there will be further studies in the world's last ice area. This allows us to, to sort of understand what is happening in this area right now and guide projections on what is going to happen into the future. And he's pushing for Nunavumut to be on board the next expedition. Samuel Watts, CBC News, Yellowknife.